the secret's out. Dublin, Texas is one of the premier go-to destinations for tourists, businesses, and families searching for prosperity and meaningful lifestyle. And it's no wonder. Dublin, Texas is built on a solid foundation. The editor of Dublin's first newspaper proclaimed in 1889 that any fool who has the chance to invest in Dublin's future and doesn't do it will someday go out behind the barn and kick himself for being such a fool. Young Jim Daly knew what he was talking about. Today, Dublin offers a healthy economy, a family-oriented lifestyle, an abundance of city services and unique attractions, which draw upwards of 100,000 visitors every year. With agribusiness at its core, Dublin is home to hard-working, community-oriented folks who love small-town life. Many of its original businesses continue to thrive, including Dublin Bottling Works, the birthplace of Bottle Dr. Pepper. This tiny plant now produces the best specialty brands of soda in the world. When all other bottlers switched to less expensive high-fructose corn syrup, Dublin Bottling Works, under the strong leadership of an old German boy named Billy Kloster refused to switch. Press and media from around the United States have covered the unique phenomenon of Dublin Bottling Works. Each year, thousands of people tour the bottling plant and its two museums, filled with amazing soda history, the world's most valuable collection of Dr. Pepper artifacts and advertising memorabilia. They enjoy a visit to Old Doc's Soda Shop, their sandwiches, Frosties, and new Dublin Bottling Works flavors, all made with pure cane sugar. Visitors in search of fascinating history will find it at all five of Dublin's museums. The Dublin Bottling Works Museum at the Bottling Plant, the amazing new Multimedia Kloster Annex Museum across the street from the plant, the Dublin Historical Museum, which tells the story of how we lived, worked, played, served, and worshipped. The Rodeo Heritage Museum, which relives the colorful days of the Dublin Rodeo when it was owned by Everett Colburn and Gene Autry and was the first stop in the trip to the granddaddy of all rodeos at Madison Square Garden. And the new Ben Hogan Museum, a tribute to one of the world's greatest golfers. Find out how Dublin, the golfing great's childhood home, helped mold this champion in the shadows of the family blacksmith shop. Visitors will also enjoy a stop at Wright Historical Park, whose centerpiece is the 1882 Miller Grist Mill. In the same quaint little downtown park, visitors will find the Barbie Cabin, one of the county's oldest structures, an ancient wishing well and a syrup mill. Dublin is also proud of its beautifully restored Victorian and Craftsman-style bungalow homes. These homes and a dozen more are the anchors of a driving tour which features historically and architecturally significant homes dating from the late 1800s. From the tiny to the grandiose, Dublin's churches also warrant a visit. The little church on Grafton Street was donated to the Dublin Historical Society when its congregation relocated to the magnificent St. Mary's Catholic Church on Highway 377. The hundred-year-old church is now a part of the local historic structure tour, hosted by Proud. <laughs> Dublin is always green in March, when thousands of visitors come to town to search for leprechauns and their pots of gold during the annual St. Patrick's Festival. Parades, foot races, rodeos, music, and food, food, food. Art displays, sidewalk sales, roller derby, softball. Get your green on in Dublin every spring. The second weekend in June brings the annual Dublin Bottling Works birthday, a celebration of all things soda. People come from far and near to celebrate its uncompromised soda-making heritage with a run, bike race, great music, arts and crafts, and food vendors, as well as a reunion for everybody who has ever lived in Dublin and those people who just wish they had. June also has the Ben Hogan Forgotten Fairways Cow Pasture Golf Tournament held on the grounds of the old Dublin De Leon Country Club, where legendary golfer Ben Hogan won his last amateur tournament 
just before turning pro. Players and press come from all over the globe to experience this fun and unique event. Even the cows are Ben Hogan fans. Dublin schools are state of the art. Senior high students are equipped with new MacBook computers and they are trained to succeed in creative use of new technology as well as in traditional scholastic studies. Dublin's educational system is poised to excel. Dublin is all about the outdoors. Just minutes away from Lake Proctor, one of the top striper fisheries in the state, fishing, skiing, waterfowl hunting, and just plain playing are a mainstay for locals. The Dublin area has some of the best white-tailed deer hunting in the state. Doves, quail, turkeys, predators, small game, and wild pigs abound. Dublin is a great place to visit, but it is also an amazing place to live. It offers the meaningful small town lifestyle that so many families and individuals are seeking with all their hearts. Far away from crazy traffic and confusion, but close enough to major metro areas and airports. A peaceful community where neighbors take care of each other. Because of internet, satellite TV, and mobile technology, Dubliners are in touch with what happens in big cities and globally. They get it but they also understand the value and sanity of small town America. Dubliners have the best of all worlds. The Dublin Citizen newspaper and its multimedia website keep the community connected. The public library is organized and high tech. The city government is proactive and visionary. The citizens personify the ideals of hard work, faith, and community. It's no wonder that the national media has discovered Dublin. CNN, Food Network, top TV stations, Associated Press, and others are all recent visitors. Even ABC and BBC chose to shoot rehearsals for Dancing with the Stars in Dublin's magnificently restored 100-year-old Rotary Building. All-around rodeo champion Ty Murray and dancer Chelsea Hightower loved their rehearsals in Dublin. They all know the real deal when they see it, and they keep coming back. You will too. Dublin is a great place. Whether you come for vacation or relocate for good, Dublin always over delivers. Visit, taste, and experience everything it has to offer. The people, the country, the culture, the commitment, and the lifestyle. Whether you're an entrepreneur, professional, worker, retiree, urban refugee, or tourist, you'll find that Dublin has a lasting place in your future. Dublin, Texas, where you can have it all. <laughs>